Hey guys, I wanted to get in this open tag of three knives that everyone should try. I seen a Doom Cruise video on it and I uh, wanted to go ahead and show mine. Um, I've got three case knives here. I've got the Humpback Whittler, a Congress, and a Case 47 Stockman. Um, I kind of copied Doom Crew on this one. He used the olive green uh, tractor supply exclusive one which I have so I picked a different 47 pattern to use um, I would have picked that one no matter what um, but I'll go ahead and show you all why I picked these um, I picked the humpback whittler because I think it has one of the best designs of any case knife um, with the choices of blades you get in the long uh, spay and pin blade and then you've got the big spear. Um, it also has three separate springs for each blade, so each blade is strong. Um, it has pinch bolsters, which is just a cosmetics thing, but I think is very nice. And it also has indentions in the blade handle to where you can get your thumb out there and uh, get the blade out a lot easier. These, uh, all these blades also have swedges on them Uh, this one has the spay and the pin blade have a swedge on the back of them. Um, this one I found hard to find. They didn't make it a lot. Uh, so when I found this at a gun show, I picked it up immediately. Um, this is in goldenrod bone, this specific one. But um, I really, really like this knife. I think it's a beautiful knife and the design of it is about flawless I think um, I think it's a really good strong pocket knife and it's not it's not a super oversized big knife neither <clears throat> um, it's more of just an average mid-size and if you notice all three of these are just mid-size knives I don't think anyone likes to carry a, a, a tiny knife a lot of guys don't want a huge knife but most guys won't carry a small little knife because they're not good for nothing hardly however you don't want a huge knife, or at least for me, I don't like carrying a huge knife like a like a big large trapper or a jumbo stockman or even like a clasp or something. Um, I prefer just a mid-sized, you know, stockman or congress or something. And speaking of congress here, um, this is one of my favorite knives. I love the purple on this. It's called Purple Haze Bone on this congress, but... The reason I picked the Congress is because in this specific one has half stops, which is also just a plus. That way you can open it easier. Um, the Congress is unique in that it has four blades and four different blades as well. So you got a blade for just about every task you would have to have. You got a nice sheep's foot, a coping blade, a good spear blade here. And then your average little pin blade and now each of these blades has a nice long pull on them that way you can get them out easier they also each have their own individual spring which is very nice to keep each blade strong and with their half where they have half stops they're also easy to open um, <clears throat> and this also has like the humpback whittler they have specific indentions that way you can get to the coping and the pin blade and that way they're not pushed up too far where um you know it'll poke you in your pocket which is uh really something really cool that they added i think because it this knife didn't have to have that they could have just raised this but they didn't and made it better uh, by adding those um it's it's frame is sort of like a suede shape um which helps in the blade strength and the spring strength of this i think uh, at least in my specific one every blade on this knife is good and strong and can be used for tons of different tasks so that's why i, th I think the congress don't get enough love it's not too big it's a it's a just a medium-sized knife but it has four good blades that you can use and they're not tiny neither now the 47 pattern 
uh, Doom Crew went over this, but I would say that this is one of, if not my favorite patterns. Uh, I don't like the regular Stockman in the 18 or the 75 pattern. Um, they got Jumbo or any of them. I don't like any of the other ones, but I love this one. Um, I like how it's medium sized. It has nice rounded bolsters, so it don't, you know, poke you when it's in your pocket like most squared bolsters knives knives do. Now, this knife, the Congress, is squared bolstered, um, and it is kind of, it, it will kind of jab you a little bit in your pocket, but it's got the pinch bolsters on it, so it's kind of rounded. Um, so it's not too bad on you, but this one you wouldn't even notice where it's so rounded. And then it's also got a nice big clip blade. With Stockman's, it's really, really important to me that the main blade on them is useful because... If I'm being honest with most knives, that's the blade I use is the main blade. I don't use the little blade very often. And if I do, then I'm like, I'm kind of forcing myself. I'm like, oh wait, I need to use this blade so the big one don't get dull. Um, but if you get with, with this knife, having the big clip blade is awesome because it's a good blade. With other Stockman's, like especially the 18 pattern, it always annoyed me how small that clip blade was because you couldn't hardly do anything with it. It was just like a little skinning blade, but this is an actual nice clip blade. So there's my rant about that. Um, and then it's got a nice big thick spade blade. This is also something I like the spade blade. It also isn't small. It comes to a big curve at the front and then sort of gets narrow as it goes down, which I really like in the spade blade. I think that's how they all should be built. And then it's got the regular sheep's foot, which you can't really mess up one of them. But, yep, this is somewhat of a shorter video. I just wanted to uh, jump into this tag real quick. I seen Doom Crew's video. Shout out to him. His awesome channel. Y'all go watch him. Um, but, yeah, these are my three knives I wanted to shout out. I'll see y'all later. Bye.